A heart rhythm abnormality can potentially be quite serious. What we have to understand is that there are different types of heart rhythm abnormalities and in order to understand how serious uh, these conditions are, we need to make a clear diagnosis. So, for example, atrial fibrillation, which is the most common heart rhythm abnormality, uh, is quite serious in that it increases one's risk of stroke. And if you have atrial fibrillation and yet do not have it diagnosed, then you may not uh, receive or be offered the appropriate treatment strategy to mitigate or minimize your risk of stroke. So it's crucially important to make a diagnosis of atrial fibrillation in stroke prevention. Now, the other heart rhythm abnormalities that we talked about, such as atrial flutter, can also lead to a stroke, but can also lead to progressive shortness of breath or what we call heart failure symptoms, where the heart, after being in a sustained high heart rate for a long time, for example, three to six months, uh, will start to weaken. And this pumping action, which initially strong, starts to weaken as the heart beats fast over time, can cause symptoms of heart failure. And that potentially is a very serious complication of a heart rhythm abnormality. Now, when we talk about the other rhythm abnormalities, such as an SVT, these are more typically benign, although can be very symptomatic. So there's a difference between benign and malignant. A benign condition is one that, that, that is very uh, unlikely to cause any serious harm or lead to death. A malignant condition can lead to death. Now in an SVT situation, often patients are highly symptomatic. That is to say, when you do get your sudden onset high heartbeats and your heart goes very quickly, you get overwhelmed with this feeling of anxiety, palpitation, shortness of breath and chest pain. But as soon as the palpitations resolve, so the symptoms also. And in this sense, an SVT with a rapid onset, sudden rapid onset and offset tachycardia could be considered a benign but highly symptomatic condition. There is a particular form of SVT called WPW or Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, which carries associated with it on some occasions a risk of a dangerously fast heart rhythm condition called pre-excited atrial fibrillation. Now, uh, you need to speak to your cardiologist to understand if you're at risk of this dangerous, uh, potentially life-threatening condition if you have a Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, uh, because it's important for us to assess the safety of your pathway that allows you to have these palpitations or heart rhythm abnormalities in order to us to for us to understand what, what types of treatment we should be offering for your condition.